I fell into the game with instant kill chapter. Neutral Nations Conference What kind of person was the Seventh Lord? Tear thought for a moment, it was only a brief encounter, there's no way I could judge a person just by that, still, I don't think he's a bad person after all, didn't the other save him from getting his arm cut off from their first meeting, although suspicious, Tear only felt gratitude towards the Seventh Lord, and there was no negative emotion at all, I don't think he's evil and I don't think he has any ulterior motives, at least from what I could see and feel. Hearing Taya's confident voice, Longford stared at him, then sighed softly. He truly couldn't understand this situation, even if what Taya was saying was true, they're still under the threat from Kaja, his son, who returned after two years, gave him another big worry. It was hard for Longford to think that someone like a Lord of Calderic had helped Taya out of pure goodwill, it didn't matter if this lord was evil or not, not knowing the other person's intentions was too dangerous, the opponent was a strong force that their side could not handle, no one properly knew the new seventh lord of Calderic. he had killed the sixth lord not too long ago, and yet he could still accompany the overlord at this conference, and that seventh lord seemed to be interested in Terlumford cleared his mind of many questions, first, things should become much clearer once the meeting started, there's no use worrying about those things right now. I understand. Do you have anything else to say? Tear hesitated, then shook his head. None. If you have no more questions, I'll go back. It was time to say goodbye and leave the room. Why don't you have Tear join the meeting in my place tomorrow, Father? At the words of the first prince, Lucas, Tear turned around in surprise. What are you saying suddenly, big brother? It is as you heard. Lucas spoke calmly. The Seventh Lord talked to you in front of everyone. If you don't take part and I did wouldn't it seem like we're being disrespectful towards him, or one representative from each country party and one spectator who did not have the right to speak may take part in the meeting. Suddenly, Lucas, the first prince, changed his plan to take part as a spectator to tear. What do you think, Father? Longford seemed to be worried about Lucas' words, but then nodded, you're not wrong. Tear, could you join us in the meeting? Butter could only nod his head after seeing the expression of the two. It was because he couldn't refuse the request since he finally came back after running away for two years. He only had to stand still during the meeting. Anyway, it's easy to do that. Yes, well then I understand. I will join the meeting. Okay, thank you. Tear hesitated, then bowed his head. If you have no more questions, I'll leave. Tear left the room. Seri followed him out, Longford looked at the closed door and sighed once more, Lucas, who stood there with a bitter expression for a moment, spoke cautiously to him, Father, even if we don't know the intentions of the Seventh Lord, it's true that he took a friendly stance towards Earth Hill. If so expect nothing, Longford said firmly, the Overlord had never been involved in the slightest in the situation of neutral countries, would this meeting suddenly break that solid stance? In the end. It was right not to expect Calderic's help, no matter what, Longford continued to think about the meeting to be held tomorrow, feeling his body and mind getting more tired. A day passed, and the day of the meeting came, Arthil, Kaja, Meta, Plagueis, and Rajane, the kings of the five neutral countries entered the conference room early and took their seats at the round table, it was because the disaster of coming later than the overlord of Calderic or the emperor of Santia should not happen. Behind them stood one prince or one princess, who had entered as spectators of the meeting, Neutral Nations Conference, as the name suggested, the agendas of this meeting were related to issues between neutral countries, and the top agenda of this meeting, as everyone already knew, was the confrontation between Earth Hill and Kaja, before the arrival of the Emperor and Overlord, the atmosphere was quiet and no one spoke, Jordan, the first prince of the Kaja, kept a sidelong glance at the seat on the earth hillside, not the first prince, but the second prince attended, the person standing behind the king of earth hill as a spectator was not the first prince Lucas, but the second prince Sitter, because of what happened just yesterday, Cage's side also had their thoughts complicated for the day, it was because they couldn't figure out what kind of connection there was between the new seventh lord and the second prince Ter. Although the overlord of Calderic has never been involved in matters between neutral nations they couldn't figure out what the exact intentions of the seventh lord were, 
a variable came from a completely unexpected place, the emperor of the Santi Empire is entering, all five kings rose from their seats at the announcement, soon after, the emperor appeared in the meeting room accompanied by Princess Aaron, as they were seated at one side of the round table, there was more tension in the air flowing through the meeting room, a little more time passed in that state of the overlord of the Calderic monarchy and the seventh lord are entering. The kings rose from their seats again, footsteps echoed in the silence, and a man and a woman walked into the meeting room, the overlord of Calderic and the seventh lord, they approached the last two remaining seats and sat down, it was right across from the emperor, originally, one representative and one spectator would take part in the conference, and those who took part as spectators would not sit at the round table, they had to stand in the back, but the seventh lord sat side by side next to the overlord, strictly speaking, the Calderic monarchy could be said to be an alliance of ten countries, and the seventh lord was the head of one of them, it was only the first time that another lord accompanied the overlord to a conference, there was no one present who dared to raise objections against this. After everyone was seated at the conference room, Longford looked around the round table and opened his mouth, then let's start the meeting.